Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We want to talk about moving from X-Plane 10 to X-Plane 11. And if you've got external peripherals like SciTech panels or you're using Panel Builder or you're using Air Manager on your iPad, you know, all those types of things, you're going to need to, uh, or the G1000 app for the iPad, those things are not going to just work. So, couple things, let's get out of the way. First of all, X-Plane 11, when you install it, will be completely separate from your X-Plane 10. No, it does not look at your X-Plane 10 and upgrade it to version 11. It leaves your X-Plane 10 completely alone and installs X-Plane 11 separately. So what that means is if you've installed airplanes, if you've installed uh, plugins, if you're using some of these uh, panels, iPad apps, things like that. None of that stuff's going to work right out of the box. Um, now, one thing I will mention, if these peripherals like SciTech panels uh, are already working, you do not need to install drivers again. The drivers allow it to talk, the, the product or the item to talk to Windows. So if, that, if the item was working with version 10, you do not need to install drivers. What you need to do is get your plugins put into version 11. Your plugins allow the product or the item to talk to X-Plane, and that's the part that it isn't there when you install X-Plane 11. So the first step, of course, is to install X-Plane 11, which I have done. And the second thing you want to do is open up your X-Plane 10, your X-Plane 11, which I'm doing now, folders. I've got my X-Plane 10 folder over here, my X-Plane 11 folder right here. And then what I'm going to do is let's look at aircraft first. So I'm going to go to the aircraft menu in both of them. You notice it's very different. In the old one, there's all these different categories divided by folders. But the way that X-Plane 11 handles uh, planes are a little bit different than uh, X-Plane 10. And one thing you should look out for is your, the people who made your plane that you purchased putting out an update. Now, they may charge for this update or they may not. They may say, well, X-Plane 11 is a new product, so you have to buy the Bonanza again, or you have to buy the V1900D again. Hopefully not. Existing X-Plane 10 planes should work in version 11. So what I'm going to do is, I know I have some planes that I've purchased in General Aviation over here. So again, we're in the aircraft uh, folder, excuse me, we're now we're in the aircraft folder in, in both, this is X-Plane 11, aircraft folder, X-Plane 10, aircraft folder. And the ones that come with X-Plane, you'll notice, are inside a folder called Laminar Research. So what you do, I know I have some planes under General Aviation, so I'm just going to go under there and I'm going to highlight the ones, all these Coronado planes. I'm going to hit Copy, and I'm just going to paste them into the aircraft folder in X-Plane 11. Now, one thing you'll notice when you open up X-Plane 11, there won't be a pretty thumbnail there of the airplane. There'll be a silhouette of an airplane with a question mark, and that means essentially that this is a version 10 plane that you're going to run in version 11. It won't look as pretty in the user interface for X-Plane, but the plane will still work. So, um, I need to refresh this over here. There we go. So there are all of our planes in our aircraft folder. Now you may have to drill down. You may have some stuff maybe under heavy metal that you've purchased. I think this, this one I've is an add-on plane, I believe, so I'll copy it. Well, there's a good 737 already in version 11. I'm not going to mess with that. All right, so we've done our planes. Let's go back to the uh, X-Plane 10 and X-Plane 11 root folder. So again, I'm in my X-Plane 10 folder here, X-Plane 11 folder here, and I've got some plugins that I need to copy over. So you go to Resources, Plugins, and over here, Resources, Plugins. And I'm, I have Air Manager, I have Panel Builder Sender and Receiver, that's for SIM plugins panel builder. I have X SciTech panels for my SciTech panels. And I have this G1000 bridge, that's for my G1000 app that runs on the iPad. So I've highlighted all those, 
and I'm going to right click and choose copy and I'm going to right click over here and choose paste and you can see here these are the things that we just copied over panel builder center and receiver, my SciTech panels, my G1000 bridge, and my air plug-in don't take everything from over here and drag it over. You're probably going to break X-Plane if you do. Again, do not grab everything that's over here and bring it over. Only bring over what you know you need to. You should know kind of what you're running and what you need to bring over and then just bring that over. If X-Plane, and then also I would take a screenshot of this so you know what you brought over. So you see the stuff I brought over I have highlighted here. I could use the snipping tool. So you just go down to the little search box and you type in snipping and then the snipping tool comes up and I hit new and I can just grab a screenshot of this and then I could save it as a JPEG or I could just move it over to another monitor but probably best to save it as a JPEG. So you'll know what you moved over. That way if you start up X-Plane and it it blows it up, it won't start up, you know what you did and you can undo it. And then move these over one at a time or copy them over one at a time until you find the one that's causing your uh, simulator to not start up. So it's very important to know what you did in case it causes problems. So that is when it comes to scenery, I, I would stay away from trying to bring over outdated uh, version 10 scenery, let's say you purchased an air an airport or a uh, scenery package, I would check with the people that created that package before bringing it over to X-Plane 11 because X-Plane 11 has made a lot of changes to the scenery and I don't know if that will be compatible or not. might be best to wait for X-Plane 11 compatible um, scenery to be made available. Hopefully that'll be a free update, but it, that all depends on the third-party developer as to whether or not they want to make that free or not. So um, hopefully this helps you out whenever you're comfortable eventually with your X-Plane 11 and you want to say goodbye to your X-Plane 10, simply drag the X-Plane 10 folder into the trash and start using version 11. Hopefully this helps and uh, happy flying.